My name is Claudia and I am Mexican. My name is Cristel and I'm Mexican. My name is Francesca Guillén and I'm Mexican. My name is Tiare Escanda and I'm Mexican. My name is Luis Gerardo and I'm Mexican. My name is Natalia and I'm Mexican. My name is Pablo and I'm Mexican. My name is Renato and I'm Mexican. My name is Erendira and I'm Mexican. We're going to try to break down the situation in Mexico for you in simple terms, although none of this is simple. The headline, 43 students were murdered by the police in collusion with criminal groups. This is not an isolated event ever since ex-president Felipe Calderón declared his messianic war. Hundreds of thousands have died and tens of thousands have disappeared. Mexico is also one of the most dangerous places in the world to be a journalist. Or a woman. Over a hundred journalists have been murdered in the last 10 years. It seems that someone is afraid of those who are trying to tell the truth. And let's not forget, 10 women are brutally murdered every day. And out of all these crimes, 80% remain unsolved. And if you're Mexican and you've ever been mugged, kidnapped, abused, raped, or lost someone you love to crime, then you already know. Cops aren't gonna do shit about it, okay? So some might say, stop complaining, do something about it. So here's what we're going to do. We didn't react when 49 children were burned to death and 76 were injured in Sonora. 22 people were murdered in Tlatlaya, 45 in Actel, 17 in Aguas Blancas. In all these cases, the state was implicated. If we want to make a change, we must make people aware of this, create greater consciousness. To do so, we must spread the news. We must spread the Ayotzinapa name everywhere. This is a new beginning where we demand our government to fulfill their obligations. If the government cannot meet their obligations, the government must resign. Don't forget, we pay their salaries. They are our employees. They always forget it. We must create a citizens' institute to audit the state. And we recommend citizens around the world to do the same. If we want to get justice for Ayotzinapa, we must find the 43 disappeared students. And the students must be returned alive. Whatever results the Mexican government presents, must be supported by legal and scientific proof, verified by the independent Argentinian forensic team working on the case. The government must continue to create and maintain schools for teachers in rural areas. And all political prisoners must be freed. We ask people around the world to put pressure on their governments to suspend all treaties with Mexico until these obligations are met. Never again will power be used against society. The government may not care about us, but we care about each other.